Of the four seasons, winter is the season of solitude and silence. Some may consider winter to be white and pure, but winter is often associated with many dark sides because it's cold and dark during this time of year. Myths therefore tend to treat winter as a period of death, mainly because crops cannot be harvested in this season. They saw winter as a time when nature withers and dies. Slavic mythology associates the goddess Morana with winter. She is linked with the dark aspects of the season, such as death, hunger and cold, instead of the bright aspects of it. Since the Slavs are the largest ethnic group spread across European countries, different nations recognize this goddess by different names. For example, in Poland, the goddess is given the name Marzana, and in Russia, the goddess is called Marena. These differences can be seen in the name of the goddess in various European countries where Slavic traditions have spread. The death and rebirth of the goddess is associated with the changing of the seasons. Winter is believed to end with the death of the goddess, so her presence is always anticipated with dread and not really welcomed. Some scholars believe that the name of the goddess has Proto-Indo-European roots. This suggests that the name comes from the Proto-Indo-European word Ma or Mo, which has the meaning death. Another theory suggests that the name originates from the Latin word mors, which also means death. The goddess is associated not only with winter and dying, but also with dreams and nightmares. So the goddess is sometimes seen as a mare, who is a demon found in Slavic mythology that climbs on people's chest while they are sleeping and brings nightmares. Some stories describe that Morana has the power to shapeshift. She can take on the appearance of a stunning beautiful dark-haired girl with extremely white skin, wolf fangs and claws. To put it simply, this description is very similar to the description of a vampire as we know it today. At other times, she appears as an ugly-looking old crone. The goddess appears as a beautiful girl to those who do not fear her and as an old woman to those who fear her. Because of her dark side, Morana is associated with witches. Therefore, she is sometimes considered a witch herself. There are different versions of the story of how Morana brought winter to the land. In Eastern Slavic mythology, Morana is the daughter of Perun, the highest god of the Slavic pantheon. As these legends describe, Morana falls in love with Yarelo, who came to the human world following birds migrating from the underworld. The Slavs believe the underworld to be a place of eternal spring, which is quite contrary to the definition of the underworld in other mythologies. The story goes on to explain that Morana and Yarilo were twins born to Perun, separated at birth and Yarilo grew up in the underworld. The two fell in love at sight and later married. Their love and marriage brought spring and fertility to the land. But when Yarilo became disloyal to his wife and began to dislike her, Morana killed Yarilo for his dishonesty and her heart got filled with hatred. She then spread the hatred throughout the world and made the world cold and dark and barren. This event marks the beginning of autumn. Morano began to wither and became a hideous old woman. Humans started to be afraid when they saw her appearance, so they chased her away. Morano's heart became darkened because of this. So she froze all nature, covering everything with snow. Yarelo, on the other hand, gets reborn in the underworld after his death and grows up watching migrating birds. Once he became a youth, Yarelo followed the birds into the human world. When he returns, Yarelo melts all the ice Morana has created with the warmth he brought with him from the underworld. So Morana turns back to her beautiful young self and once again the two fall in love. 
Nature comes back alive, fertilizing the soil only until Yorilo betrays Morana and gets killed by her. Eastern Slavs believe that this is the reason for the change of seasons. As for a variant in the story most popular among Russians, Morana is a goddess lives in Nam, which is the underworld in Slavic mythology. Morana got attracted to the sun god Dasbok on seeing him and seduced him. The two later fall in love and Morana gets betrayed by Dasbok. Enraged at the betrayal, she poisons the sun god. A different version of the story describes that Morana poisoned the sun god because he rejected her attempts to approach him. Somehow the poison did not kill the sun god, but he began to age. So Dasbog went to the underworld to fight Morana and regain his youth and powers. But because Dasbog is old and weak, Morana managed to easily win the fight and imprisoned Dasbog in the underworld. During this time, Morana comes to the human world and started to spread her cold and darkness across the land. Meanwhile, Dasbog regained his youth and powers while in the underworld and returned to the human world to fight Morana once again. This time, Morana gets defeated and goes back to the underworld. Because Dasbog has arrived with his full power, he melts all the ice and makes the world fertile. In another variant of the same story with Dasbok, when Dasbok rejected her advances, Morana kidnapped one of Dasbok's three wives and demanded that he fall in love with her if he wants his wife back. So Dasbok agreed and stayed with Morana in the underworld to save his wife. During this time, because the sun god has left the human world, the land started to get cold and covered with snow. After a while, Morana gets tired of Dasbog and releases him and finds herself another lover. Dasbog then returns to the human world and because of it, spring begins. There are legends that connect Morana with Vesna, who is the Slavic goddess of spring. As for these legends, both Morana and Vesna cannot coexist and one must die for the other to be born. After Morana's death, the spring goddess comes to life and after Vesna's death, Morana is reborn. These stories highlight that both goddesses cannot exist together. So while Vesna's birth is celebrated, Morana's birth is feared by the Slavs. But these stories accept that Vesna is born only if Morana dies. So Vesna cannot exist without Morana. Interestingly, the custom of celebrating Morana's death is still celebrated by the Slavs. On March 21st, an effigy made of straw is burned at a stake or drowned in a river to symbolize the death of Morana. This also symbolizes the end of the winter and the arrival of spring. Although Morana is one of the most feared deities in Slavic mythology, traditions related to her have been passed down through the generations. Even though Morana symbolizes the darker aspects of life and nature, she is also one of the deities who can be related to human traits such as jealousy and lust. It is also notable that different stories describe the arrival of the winter in different ways, but they all agree that Morana must leave the human world in some way for the winter to end. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts and anything I might have missed. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment and subscribing to the channel. A special thank you to my Patreon and all my subscribers for your wonderful support. If not already and you like to support me, you can do so by being a Patreon, a YouTube member and a subscriber. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again with another story to tell.